Hey everybody, how's it going? Thought I'd give a brief garage tour and update on my power tool holding rack. Now this is the new one that my father and I just built over this past weekend that I'm super excited about. And it replaces kind of this one here that's not terribly impressive. It was, the bottom half was a semi salvage from something the previous homeowner had. And then I put this rack up top for holding power tools, but there wasn't enough space on it and it just kind of looks thrown together because that's exactly what it is. So I wanted something a lot bigger with clearly a bunch of storage up top and I did not realize how much space I was wasting up on this wall which had nothing on it. The frame is basically just some 2 by 10s three 10 foot boards and I had plenty left over. We ran these through the table saw to kind of face them off a little bit on the front. The blade was super dull so it probably doesn't look as sharp as we were intending but anyway the bottom is just a 2x4 with some 1x3s that we cut on the miter saw and rounded over with a router bit on the end. So, as you can see, I've got plenty more spots than tools, which was by design, because who doesn't want another reason to buy more power tools? Anyway, and then this, uh, this kick plate back here was just um, a 1x8 which is actually seven and a quarter, it's kind of annoying, but that's there just as a kick plate so that if I leave a bit inside of a drill or something and it wants to whack into the wall, it's not gonna tear up the drywall. And then it's secured to the wall by the studs with just a couple of, these are just more one by threes in the back here on both sides screwed into the studs. And you can pretty much use anything you have left over for that but as you can see it's quite monstrous actually so if you're I, I know there's all kinds of storage rack ideas kind of like this on the internet and whatever but I'm very pleased with how this one kind of came out and it wasn't terribly complicated you do need I mean you don't have to bother with uh, doing doing the cuts here with a dado blade which we didn't actually have, we just used a regular blade for that. You don't have to rip the faces of these 2x10s. So you could get away with a circular saw and a drill if you really, if that's all you got. We sized the shelves based on five quart jugs of oil because that was probably the biggest thing I expected to have up there. And it was just about the perfect depth when you get a 2x10. So, if you're looking for, for an idea like this, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And just briefly, I'll show you a little bit more of the garage, but this drill press burned out on us when we were drilling the pilot holes for these little guys, because we set up a jig and um, were able to kind of knock them out quickly that way. But uh, yeah, the motors, started emitting a bunch of white smoke and I need to figure out how to get a new motor on there. So I'm talking about my coworkers who actually rigged up a treadmill DC brushed motor to his with a some kind of reduction through a jack shaft that he came up with. So that sounds great, but I gotta find an old treadmill if I wanna do that. And then you gotta get a controller if, you, if the one that with it doesn't work, but that's kind of a project right now. Um, this guy, this chainsaw sharp, chainsaw blade sharpener was from an estate sale. So I've been playing with that. And you can see I love my little, I don't know, Rubbermaid tubs from Walmart with labels for all the different hardware, whatnot. And more labels on the toolbox. Anyway, that's a brief bit about the garage. I do want to do something better with this space, though. I'm, I've been asking myself, okay, if this entire 
bench and rack were gone, what could I do with this space? And I'm almost wondering if I could make another shelf like that for over here, except I obviously, I obviously don't need more spaces for power tools, but maybe I, maybe I could have a rack that holds the more oddly shaped big stuff like squares and levels and like the electric chainsaw I could hang from it or something. So just looking for new ideas in that regard, but anyway.